Normal Sex Fun and Bare Bones Radio Broadcasting. Get around here. I'll give you a hint. And I'll make it vividly clear to you. That you're all puppets of words being forced into your mouth since you were children. All over the globe. Get over here. The thing is arguing. Quit arguing. How did the damn inventions have a mind of their own? I move it, it moves back, move it, it moves back. No, you're not going to do that. There's nothing holding you there. And you ain't going to do it. Now, there. You're too much of my skinny body. Get over here. This mechanism. Mass produced garbage. I started to say before the camera is cameraing around. I go and make a slight adjustment. He goes, I'm not going to make that slight adjustment. Yeah, you are. <laughs> this planet is remarks stuffed in the mouths of everyone making them. Quacking remarks jammed into your mouth by somebody else before you were old enough to understand what the Sam hell is going on. You're going to die there. What a bet. You look like a World War Two, a World War One soldier in the deepest, muddiest trench facing somebody this far away in another one. Yourself. And all of you are locked in a trench, misusing terms, facing your enemy two inches away in another muddy trench called yourself. All your motivation, and all your disposition, all of it. Not understanding how this mechanism works. Ignorance the day is long, term driven puppet by Evipe. Procedure based bimbo, longing for more. To the grave. Dumb. I don't long for more. <laughs> Not you. You put you in the position to have more. Believe me, you'd long for a lot more. All you're not longing for more is you seeing yourself helpless to get any more. Put yourself in a shot where you could get more. Ha! And get a lot more, wouldn't ya? Punky! And more of everything. Those who want nothing want more of that. Those who were more on what something, they went more of that, and it's all more. And nobody really is satisfied where they're at. Wonder why? Term driven de divipe. The picture in their head coming from terms that are not here. Hey! When they are here, they're so mis- out of place and position, that ain't here but that term at all. For example, money! Or time! Love. Love is emotion. No, it ain't. Love, when it's working and it's most efficient, doesn't have any emotion at all. Does it? Funny how that works. Have you ever seen love at its peak? Well, it don't have no emotion. No, it don't. I believe you be, it's way past that. Love your enemy in the deepest aspect of battle. When you're taking a sword and cutting your enemy's head off, you think you have emotion. Do you? You think the successful man on the battlefield is an emotional man? Screaming and hollering and all emotional. Do you? The things that get you show no emotion here. They're quiet and deadly. There's an explosion by a Terrorist bomber have emotion? Does it? That emotion, you'd have warning. They're not getting a warning. All of a sudden, bang! Well, that individual never showed any emotion. When that sneaky terrorist bomber came in there and blew the dumbass itself up, there was no emotion showed. None! Did he love you? Love God, said. There was love of something there. Sure was. And the love of something blew everybody up. 
What an idiot! Was that love or sour? Does love hurt? Like that? Does it? I know sour does. Grudge does. Vengeance does. People wanting to hurt each other, taking it out on each other because they're running from themselves, do that. I don't find love doing that. Do you? So I find the word very misused. Don't you? When they're taking love and blowing the hell out of people, I'll tell you something. That word is incorrectly used. What a bet! Eat it! You got that in your mind to do it. You're a son of a bitch! And you're mocking your mother's crotch. What a bet! Like all of you do. I haven't found one human in ever that paid any attention and had any devotion to their mother's crotch. You know, you mock it. Obviously you hate it. Everyone here hates their mom's crotch. The way they behave. No respect. I can see it in you. Shameful. Hey, I know. I'm a hypocrite. I know all about it. I've had a confession. I see myself, I see you. There you are. Same as me. Rotten old Chevy car. No humans are better than these old Chevy cars. Sorry to bring Chevy into it. No, that's not true. Rotten old, um, got to be another brand. <laughs> Sorry, Chevy. I did, that was a mistake. <laughs> I like rotten old Chevy cars. The South are very dependable. No. Let's see. Um, I'm a rambler. <laughs> Rotten old Rambler car. That'll work. <laughs> I think you're getting the point. Humor is the point. The point here is humor. And it takes justice and says, you know what? Grudge. Justice doesn't matter. And I'll tell you what else. Jealousy. Humor takes jealousy. And all the anger and grudge with it. And tells it to go stuff itself. What a bat. You're going to have more anger out of jealousy than you do grudge. I mean, than justice. Wow. When you got more anger out of jealousy than justice, be sure and keep your sense of humor that's based around the truth. Because the truth always has a sense of humor to mockery, hypocrisy. Yes, it does. Knee jerk. When it comes to hypocrisy, truth laughs. Want to bet? 